Chad DeSoto walked into Superior Court Judge Anita Sokola's courtroom today, acknowledging and waving to his family and friends who were in attendance at the hearing. He sat without shackles next to his attorney public defender Eric Miller and held his head up as he listened to the judge. The defense has been waiting on Sokola to issue a decision on their motion for the appointment of a defense expert. DeSoto has been behind bars since going on a rampage in Tumon back in February when he injured numerous pedestrians and killed three Japanese tourists. DeSoto drove on the sidewalk hitting pedestrians along the way and then got out of the vehicle and began randomly stabbing people nearby. He pleaded not guilty to the charges by reason of mental illness, disease or defect. The court had ordered a psychological evaluation that was conducted by Dr. Michael Kim several months ago. But the results of that evaluation have been kept private as they were filed under seal. The court today granted the defense motion and said an expert would be arranged by the court services division. The court also will order the defense expert not only assess the methodology, basis and result of the evaluation, but to effectively represent the defendant in determining the direction and course of the defense, but conduct a second psychological evaluation altogether. The government had opposed the appointment of a defense expert, but the judge's ruling today set the wheels in motion for DeSoto to undergo another review, something the defense says was already done. In anticipation of a ruling in our favor, we had an opportunity when Dr. Martin Linder happened to be on an island in the last month or so, and we obtained his services, so we have a, we have a second opinion at this point. Judge Sokola said the Public Defender's Office would have to pay for that evaluation as the court would not entertain it. The uh, Public Defender does not have the, uh, the right to go out and pick its own expert witnesses, notably one that you just said that was on island. I'm sorry. And this is pursuant to the decision and order that I'll be issuing shortly. The judge, meanwhile, also granted the defense's motion for a certified copy of grand jury transcripts. The court expects to have the second court-ordered psyche eval turned in before the next criminal trial setting, which is scheduled for October 2nd. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.